Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here, doing your anomaly mission for the weekend of April 12th. We're going to get started here as we look at a completely black screen for just a few moments. Any moment now, the stars will appear, I promise. I promise. While we're waiting, in news for the channel, no streams this weekend. No streams this weekend. Got too much going on this weekend to get anything done. Possibly next weekend we will do a stream. This weekend, look for a video to be released besides this one. A video to be released possibly on Saturday night or on Sunday morning first thing. We're going to do a video for a permadeath run. Uh, I'm not sure which one I'm doing. I may just do the No Starter Ship Challenge. I may do one of the Beeble Bum uh, runs. Uh, I'm not really sure which one it is. But it will just be a non-streamed version of it and to see, you know, see how we do it. Provide a little entertainment for the peoples out there. Um, been getting involved in a couple other games lately. Uh, no Man's Sky is only one of the games that I like to play. Obviously, I do a little Minecraft on the side with the family. Um, we have not everybody here uh, in town, if you will, for this weekend. So we won't be doing that this weekend. But we have been playing, that is I, have been playing a lot of uh, Palia, uh, Palia, if you will, very much. Uh, lately, I got back into it and we've been playing and trying to play catch up a little bit with uh, my character there. So doing videos on Palea aren't really too big right now, but live streaming Palea, on the other hand, unlike Twitch, seems to be a really, really big thing. Um, a lot of people are liking watching that, especially. So who knows? We'll see. Maybe I'll do another video of Palea, just pick up kind of like in the middle of everything where I left off and see how it does. We don't know. But watch for that permadeath run, and we'll see how it does. So thank you for being here with me today. Please hit the like button at the bottom of your screen, even though we've only just started and two minutes in and still waiting for the game to open up. Um, appreciate you being here, and thank you very much for all the likes. So we'll be getting started here in just a moment. I believe my character's on their freighter as we speak, so... Nope, I'm inside the anomaly. Okay, wasn't sure where in the world I was. A lot of hardship getting this started. I've updated some drivers and the computer's updated and everything's updated. Plus, we're in multiplayer mode. I forgot about that. We're actually going to go ahead and turn off, I think, the multiplayer mode. Nah. Let's just go. Not going to worry about it. All right, let's see what our anomaly mission is for the day. And, of course, we'll be checking other things out. Uh, let's see here. All right. Got to get used to the button layout again. Skeletons in time unearthing ancient, unearth ancient bones is our, uh, interesting, is our mission. And you'll notice that the mission rewards are very interesting. 401,000 units, but a C-class reactor you get now. So it's incorporating parts from your shipbuilding. So that's pretty interesting. So if you, if any of you need to get parts and you can't really afford it because you have a newer character, then you know what you need to do. Do the anomaly mission for the weekend. Fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and initialize it and start the mission right away. And there's a possibility other people could join as well. There we go. Skeletons in time mission started. We'll get on our trusty, dusty little ship here. And we're on our way. Now, as usual, it'll take us to the system in question. We'll see what's involved in that system. You'll also notice on my channel I've posted a video that is uh, no ads on, of course. Uh, it is a video about the eclipse from April 8th. Please feel free to peruse said video at your liking. It's only about six or seven minutes long. It's not very long at all, but it's about our, our experience, me and my family, uh, enjoying the eclipse. So, hope you all have got a chance to see it. And those of you who didn't, I hope you can uh, virtually see it through our eyes. So, okay, here we go. There's our planet in question that we're heading towards. Quite a ways away. kind of planet are we talking about here? Let's take a look at that. Barren planet, ancient bones, obviously. Cactus flesh, activated copper, so that means activated indicates we're going to be having storms. So we got to keep an eye open for that. Pyrite, silver, and high sentinel activity. So we should be able to unearth the bones without any problem. 
So the Sentinels shouldn't bother us unless we... I'm not heading towards you. I don't really... I, I like you at all. Don't get me wrong, but that's not important. Actually, you know what? It really doesn't make a difference where we head. We can go down to that particular point, or we can just go into the planet. You'll notice that the icon disappears as soon as you get in. So heading straight to the planet will work perfectly fine. All right. So here we are. We're at our system. We can find a landing pad if we want, but I am just going to land right where I'm at. And we'll take a look around. Now, multiplayer is on, so there's going to be some hesitation to the graphics on occasion. And that's what happens with multiplayer. So if we want to, we can turn that off, but I'm not going to do that right now. Just keep that in mind. Oh my gosh, we've got bones everywhere. Okay, there's some right there. 336. Uh, we got ones even closer at 197. We want 12 ancient bones for me. Now, depending upon what level you are, in other words, high, uh, how far you are into the game, is dependent upon how many bones you may have to unearth. Let's head out. Look at that tree. Isn't that cool? Love to get one of those trees and plant them at my base. I like that. Reminds me a little bit of Africa. I don't know why, but it does. All right, so here we go. Uh, terrain manipulator set to maximum. And let's clear out the landscape here and see how many bones we got. It looks like there's only the one. So we'll take that. It's a cheap one, too. It doesn't look like a very expensive one. Okay. So we got grubby bones. Let's go find the other one, which is right there. Right over there. Now, a lot of times you'll come across these sections. You'll notice if you look at it from here, there it looks like there's more than one bone there. So, let me just get my fire protection up and running. This is a hot planet. So, fire protection or thermal. Hot thermal protection is necessary. Not cold thermal, but hot thermal. There we go. So, at least two bones are over here, it looks like. Clear it out. Now, be prepared to take your your ship for a hop, skip, and jump all over the place. So, that one's a cheap one right there. But this one, when you get these oddly shaped ones, these are the big ones. Some rare items, 674. They're worth more money. So, if we check that bone out right here, you'll see that it's worth 518,000, whereas the others are only worth usually between about 65 and 100. So, all right. So, let's move on. We've got 12 more. Do I have room in my inventory to do this? About to. I don't need that. I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight more spots available to us. Nine, ten. Ten spots available. I had gathered more resources up with this. And my starship's out of range. Okay. But we're going to be heading over there, I think, because everything's too weak. So, let's go back to our ship. Okay, so there you go. Firestorms, like I said, you're going to have to deal with storms on this planet. So make sure you have that hot thermal protection. You're going to need it. So we're at 158.6 degrees Fahrenheit as we speak. I expect the temperature is going to climb well over 300. All right, let's just jump over to a different area. Thrusters are a good percentage. They have the charger in them, so they should charge up anytime I land. We're just going to go a little further out and then come in for a landing. Yeah, top of the hill will be fine. I think we just found some bones. Right behind me. Wow, okay. Lots of them. Yeah, we just passed over some right in front of us, so that's good. And see, temperature 284. Almost 300 degrees. Not quite. Looks like we got two bones here. So we'll grab them. Let's take a look at them. This one looks like a cheap one. And... Is that one the same? It is the same. Cheap. Alright, so that's two. While we're here, let's move stuff into our ship. Make sure you have the inventory space. Put that away, too. Okay, we got the bones right here. Some of the stuff I think I want to move into my uh, freighter as well. Okay, it looks like we got enough room now for everything. So, okay. Let's get back up here. Take a look around. Looks like the next set is right here. 823. 950. And it looks like we got another one over here at 920. So we'll come back to the ship and we'll get the rest. Right here. That's where we're going to go. Now, you can go there by ship if you wish. I'm going to go ahead and recharge my thermal protection real quick. And in hot storms, your backpack works more efficiently. So you can get places quicker with your backpack. You notice the charge isn't going down as quickly. 
So that's one of the benefits. Oh, look at this. All right. Well, look at what we found, huh? Sentinel. Yeah. Yeah, Sentinel Pillar, right? Okay, so let's get the coordinates for this so you guys know where it is. Um, hold on. There we go. Top right corner, it's at negative 18, negative 160. Negative 18, negative 160. That's what you want to find. That'll find you a Sentinel Pillar, and you can go in here and you can turn them off. Let's take a look. If, but before we do, let's go ahead and shut down the Sentinel Forces. And... Wink, he's gone. Right in front of me, too. That was hilarious. We can check the, the, the technology out. You got a B-Class uh, multi-tool in here. It's got a supercharged slot and some repair slots, of course, that need to be taken care of. But if you don't have a decent multi-tool, you're looking at a C-Class, this one is free. You can just take it. So that's a good thing. Okay? I'm not going to, of course. I've already got enough multi-tools to last me a lifetime. All right. And now... We can also take these out if we want. Pick up the extra combat supplies. And this gives us pugnium and nanites. A little bit of ammunition, usually. Oh, salvage glass, too. Isn't that nice? All right. And if you look around, you're going to see other... See, that's where our burial site is. We're heading in just a moment. But look for a canister on the ground. Hold on. It looks sort of like... And I'm not seeing it for some reason. I thought there'd be some more combat supplies, but I don't see them anywhere. Fascinating. So there was only one sentinel guarding this whole thing? Fascinating. I'll keep saying that. I don't know why. It's really weird. Okay. Alright, so our storm is clearing. It means our jetpack is about to give up. It's not going to be as supercharged as it was. Not a big deal, though. Get back over to our terrain manipulator. It should be just... It looks like just the one is here. And a cheap one, too. But it counts, so that's up to six now. Uh, we'll get the other one over here, and don't forget that we're going to head over to the... Looks like there's more than one there. We're going to head back to the ship, but I'm not going to call my ship in. Pick up resources as you go if you can. It's very handy. I always like condensed carbon. It's a very good resource to get. There we go. And then we're on to our natural burial site over here. Whoa, careful, careful, careful. There we go. Looks like, like you said, we got two of them. Alright, so what do we got? This one looks like it might be a cheap one. Yep, one. And I'm stuck. Okay. Even though the bone is gone, the residue is still there. Oh, we've got a rare one. Good deal. So that's two. Alright, we're up to eight. So it's going to tell us there's no more left, but let's head back to our ship because there was one beyond the ship. Funny how we ran across a sentinel pillar, isn't it? So you can shut down the sentinel forces on the planet and never have to worry about them again. Alright, we're still 600 blocks away. I just found a whippersnapper. Like I said, I'm not going to pull the ship in because I want to actually make it all the way here. And it's telling me it's not there, but that's okay. What we're going to do, mark it, is we're going to... That's what I said. We're going to mark it, and then we're going to take our ship to it. Unreal. Ah, they're just all over the place. Boink. Like I said, love my condensed carbon. I'm going to grab it when I can get it. Oh, almost split the uprights properly there. Not quite. All right. And there it is. 888 away. We're going to take our ship there, though. As soon as we mark it. Because if you don't mark it, you're going to miss it. 
I'll get there a little quicker by ship. I'm not going to park inside the hole. Okay. Looks like we only got the one. Looks like it's a good one, though. Another rare one. 700 years old. Good. Alright, so we're up to nine, I believe. So let's look for more. Another one, 819 that way. Our charge on our launch thrusters is dropping slowly down to 90. A lot of upgrades I've got in there. It looks like we have at least two more bones here. Okay, ooh, three. This will round it all out. So this will get us all three that we have left. All right, cheap one. And looks like two more cheap ones. If I can get around that spot that that one was in. And we got it. Deliver the bones. Oh, see, now we've gone cold. Go figure. I gotta get my condensed carbon, as you know. There we go. Okay, good. Alright, so we got to scan for them. I suggest getting in your ship and then scanning. So sentinels are alerted. I mean, they're attacking me here or there? I guess there. Okay. So be prepared for a sentinel fight. The problem is we've already shut them down. <laughs> uh, where's the contact? Let's try it again. Okay. I like how the icon starts in the middle of the screen and directs you. That's really neat. New up, new update they've added to No Man's Sky. So the Sentinels got alerted, but the problem is that they were destroyed because I turned them off. So keep that in mind. A little trick you can do there. Alright, here's his contact. Looks like just a little campsite. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, there we go. Let's go talk to the contact. Hello, Lieutenant Nuho. The Viking grunts a hello. They neither question who sent me nor offer an explanation for why they are out here alone. They do, however, seem to understand the nature of what I have brought them. Show samples. Lieutenant Nuho quietly runs a device across several of the samples, handling the remains with a profound respect. They return the bones and transmit the scan data directly into my suit, ready to deliver to the Nexus. And we're done with the mission. So that's all you have to do. Now, if you don't turn off the Sentinel pillar, there's a possibility the Sentinels will attack you. Okay? It's usually just some corrupted Sentinels, and it's usually only a couple of them. There's not a whole ton of them. Okay? So, just keep that in mind. So, we're going to head back out into space. Okay. Pulling our anomaly. And we're heading in. And off we go. Let's see who's inside our base anomaly right now. See people popping up suddenly. There they are. Little dots. Little diamonds popping up everywhere. Alright, let's take a look. So we'll turn it in, complete the mission, and we're done. There's our 1800 Quicksilver, and we get our C-Class, which is right here. C-Class Reactor. Very handy piece of equipment to get. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this in my freighter, and uh, we're going to keep the hard frame engine. I'm going to put that in the freighter too while I'm at it. And we will be selling these bones off at another time. Just to get them out of my inventory and to build up my amount of money I have. So, we're up to a good amount of Quicksilver in here. Let's see where we are with the tiers. See what's open and what isn't. So, first one, create exotic items. So you see these are the three tiers we're trying to unlock. Atlas Statue, 
the Diplo statue and the fighter statue, all three of them the ice statues. They want to complete out our collection of ice statues that we've gotten in the past. So we've gotten a few of those in the past, though I can't seem to find them at the moment. Um, but this will get some more into the collection of statues. So we're still waiting on tier one. We're only at 21%. The more people do these missions inside the anomaly at the Nexus, the more or quicker we will unlock all these unlockable decorations, if you will. Okay, so that's where we are with these, and that should take care of this. I'm going to check one more thing as I check every episode now. I take a look over here at the Expedition Terminal just to see if anything's new. And see, this one comes up saying that the expedition is over. The last one I used uh, to come into here, it told me that there was no expedition available and to come back later. So, and you'll notice I'm able to create a starship and a multi-tool again. A starship from the ship I had in the uh, run that I did in this particular save. As well as a multi-tool, I can get another ca uh, copy of the Atlas Sector. Uh, Scepter, pardon me. You'll notice that it has the one supercharged slot here and one over here. And it's an A-class, so I can create it and I can get a couple more supercharged slots if I wish. But I'm going to hold off on that. So anyway, we're hoping that this becomes the haven for all the old um, expeditions that have gone in the past. Uh, but I don't know how they're going to do that. Don't know. I don't know if they're going to do it or how they're going to do it, but that's what we're hoping on. It just doesn't seem to make any sense to us to allow us to do it from our main save only. That seems kind of a strange uh, thing to do, but here's to hoping, right? Well, I hope you enjoyed, speaking of which, this episode. Please, again, hit that like, hit the subscribe button if you like what you've seen, and I really appreciate you all being here. Enjoy your weekend, and we'll see you again soon. Take care, everybody, and thank you again.